Digi Bros, Digital Brothers, we play video games! Woo! We're back. Digi Bros. Huh. Mid cutscene. Mid cutscene. How about that? Digi cuts. Just. Just call me. Knife Jack. Jackknife! Yeah! That, Nailed I it! I was wondering if you were gonna get it. Nailed it! First, I was a little worried. <laughs> Okay, so this is basically like somebody's evil. The Triforce is, makes the world evil. If someone's good, Straight it makes the world good. Um, and then there's so Gandorf gets the Triforce. We're all screwed. Yeah, because he looks evil. Ergo, he must be evil. Ergo, evil. Yeah. I like that's, how that's the way Latin works. Yeah. I like <laughs> you would know that. He may have studied Latin. Ganondorf? <laughs> yes. He also might he have studied also Latin. May have. I don't know. I'm just saying it's possible. It's spec it's speculation, but you know, word has it. If you look back far enough in, in, in transcripts <laughs> He's in there. <laughs> studying. If you kind of squint your eyes, you can kind of make out his name. In, in cross Grisendorf. Grand Gandorf, that's what it is. That's what it is. <laughs> ah, yes. Grisendorf. <laughs> sure, I'll spy on Gandorf. She's a crazy. Look at him. Can you see the man with the evil eyes? I like how a lot of like stuff made for children is just like if somebody looks evil, they are evil. Like there's no there's no like he suddenly turns out to be a good guy. No. He's just straight up the villain because he looks evil. Yeah. Or he looks evil and he is yeah. also the villain. Have to develop the schema. You gotta <laughs> develop them. There's only one way of thinking, Jack. It is what media tells us. <laughs> Specifically, what Legend of Zelda media tells us to think. Exactly. Also, they're both white. Yeah. Gandorf's like the only person of color who is also a humanish person. I think this game is racist. Yeah, I mean, you can make that argument. You could. You can write a paper on it. I'm not gonna do that. I, I'm gonna refuse. <laughs> I will respectfully decline. I didn't... Wow, this game... What is happening? No, don't even explain. Okay. Um... I just... No, no, I mean, like, this conversation is going on for so long. It's just giving backstory. Yeah. That's all it is. Um... But I'm impatient! And she's basically telling you, you need to get the other three spiritual stones. Yeah. And for yeah, some reason, protecting this, the ocarina of time because he is the chosen one. This small child is better than any of her trained soldiers. Yeah, clearly. Um, she has an attendant, by the way. This lady, who is way better at doing anything what? than Link is, so she should be the one doing this stuff. Really, Impa. Impa. She goes. Why don't you just go do stuff then? A big new adventure, aren't you? My role in Princess Zelda's dream was... Oh. This is an ancient melody passed down by the royal family. They did the song for Princess Zelda as a lullaby ever since she was a baby. How old are you? She... her? Yeah. I bet she's like in her 20s here? Maybe 30s? She played it for her... I want you as a baby? Yeah, Zelda's like 10 right here. Yes. Yeah. That's why she's the same size as Link, who is also a child. Oh. oh. Uh huh. What? <laughs> it's the victory sound. Can you just make can you just make all the sound effects for this game now? Da, 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 da. That was 
was beautiful, Corey. That was wonderful. Thank don't, you. Don't don't do that. You're you, so good at that. Everyone knows that that wasn't me. So uh, I'm pretty sure they know it was you. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Rob definitely sound a lot like me. Yep. I sound like a drunken mule. When you try. <laughs> but uh, yes, it was me. You you got me. I got you, babe. I'm gonna kick this table over. <laughs> Please don't. There's so many expensive things on that table. Yeah, one of them's broken. Yeah. And then there's your laptop. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm angry and loopy. That's good. I'm falling apart. I'm falling apart. Sorry, I just took all the power in the royal family. Remember, it will help prove your connection with the royal family, because everyone knows the song, even though it's a secret. Okay. How about that letter that I was given? Won't that do a better job? <laughs> She's so good. <laughs> yeah, why she... why was that necessary, though? <laughs> <laughs> Where did she disappear to? Back into the castle? Yeah, I assume. But why wouldn't she just walk? It seems like a lot of effort. Hi! <laughs> Back in the castle. Oh, yeah. All right. Let's uh, let's get to what's this place called? Kakariko Village. Hey, Hooper's might is coming home to Kakariko. Because everyone knows in Spanish, Kaka means poop. Hooper's village. Yep. Can't love bear dog. Uh, uh, got my eye on you, punk. Oh, oh <laughs> when you look at his armor. The little like slats in it are so distorted. <laughs> what are you doing? I picked up a chicken. What is happening there, dude? Doing what? Opening his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they're making this into a true city. You know what I mean, kid? My work is just running aimlessly around the village. You're not making any progress at all. My own son doesn't have a job, and he just wanders around all day. They're all worthless, I tell you. Uh, you're a pretty bad boss if you're just letting your workers run around all day. Yeah. That's, that's on you. Maybe if you tell them thank you once in a while. Maybe if you appreciated their Maybe skills. Appreciate them. They just they just want some appreciation. Maybe if you saw them as human beings. <laughs> Step one. Step one. Appreciate humans. This is management guide 101, according to Jack and Corey. It's true. Yeah. Step one, appreciate people. Step two, don't. Step one, pick up chicken. <laughs> Step two, run with chicken around town. Step three, appreciate your workers. Step four, if they get out of line, make them play Overblood. Just don't put it anyway. No, please! Put it anyway, please, no! Much. I'll do anything! Get back. We're in over our blood. <laughs> Chicken, I want you! Mm. I just. All of some of these tasks are so mundane. <laughs> They're just so dumb. I want to get a bottle. I can't. I can't possibly buy one because it's not like bottles are common in this universe. No oh, bottles. Are what are you He's. They're working. Just run around. Yep. He's getting supplies. Run around all willy nilly, to and fro. Like a dude, bro. Huh. Why was that chicken in the crate? Because it's wily. That's why. <laughs> it's using its chicken wiles. Yeah. Do you know what happens if you hit a chicken a lot? No. It gets mad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You think I'm making a terrible joke, don't you? No. It... Hmm. Probably.
What? Save real quick. That could have been bad. The chickens are attacking! The chicken flocks. Oh my gosh, those chickens are dynamite. <laughs> you know? Can't kick your ass. I almost died. I'm in the house of Skulta. These guys gave me nightmares. Whoa. Yeah, they are very unfortunate. It's the crooked eyes. I guess it would bother me. Yeah, they're all like that too. To varying degrees of deformity.